testing the viral neon smoke nail hack. These are the nails I did using this effect yesterday and whoa. About a million of you asked me how to do it and what do we hate on this channel? Gatekeepers. So let's go. Do you want to start off with just a plain black nail and then grab your favorite glossy top coat and apply a thin layer, but don't cure. Next, grab some regular white gel polish and we're going to make a big curvy line. You want to do this in one fluid motion. Boop. I'm going to go back over parts that are a little bit sparse. Now we're gonna wait a few seconds for the polish to bloom out. Once you're happy with how the polish has bloomed out, go ahead and cure it for 60 seconds. Now this is my special trick. I'm gonna do another white line in the center of what I just created, just to give it some more definition and really make that glow pop. Cure again. Now we're gonna take a no wipe matte top coat and it's very important that it's no wipe. Otherwise this technique will not work. And you're gonna cure that for only 20 seconds, people. If you don't under cure your matte top coat at this step, the pigments we're gonna use later are not gonna stick. And then you will have pastel smoke instead of neon smoke. And that's not what we're going for. Next, I'm gonna grab my white ink from Tino himself. And this product is the key to this technique. You will not be able to achieve it without this. Make sure you shake it up really well before you put it on. You're gonna have to play around with this ink to get used to it, but it's very important that you do it in extremely fluid motions. I like to trace around the line, but also do multiple layers. Oop, see, it just messed up there. I wasn't fluid enough. Now I have those two little blobs, but whatever. Oh my God, that's so pretty. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna do one more. Ooh, it's already coming together. And remember, once the ink is done, do not cure it. We're going straight in with the pigments. And the pigments I'm gonna be using are also from Tino. Cause the quality, oh my God, they're like so buttery. You don't wanna be using chalky pigments because they really don't stick very well. So I would definitely recommend getting his if you don't have them already. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is gonna make a mess. That's just the nature of the beast with pigments. This is probably the easiest part. You literally just press them into the ink. They blend themselves. So you don't really need to worry about that. Cleaning my brush off on this paper towel to pick up the next color. Okay, but do you see how they just blend? Like I literally didn't do anything special. That's on Tino pigments. This blue is crazy. Okay. Once you're happy, just take a fluffy brush and dust off all the excess pigment. Grab a cleanup brush with some alcohol and use it to wipe off any of the pigment that's still stuck to the black mat. For the very last step, I'm gonna go in again with my favorite glossy top coat. You can also use matte, but I just feel like the gloss really brings it to life. And oh my God, are you serious? This is insane. You guys, oh my God, isn't that the coolest technique? Let me know if you try this and follow me for more crazy nails.